In this video, I will show you how you can create a whiteboard explainer video animation inside Premiere Pro. So we're going to make a quick animation together, and this is how it will look. Hello, this is Joe. Joe runs his own business selling local goods. But Joe has a big problem. He's got too much to do, and he can't find qualified help. And I will show you the steps on how to create one for yourself. We're gonna use the audio track, uh, timed audio animations to it. So first I'm gonna just drag into Premiere Pro the audio track, the voiceover of our little story. So I'm gonna drag the voiceover to my timeline and at this point I'm gonna just zoom in like this so I can see all the breaks, all the pauses and so on. Okay, now the next part is you wanna prepare your characters. So. I'm going to be using the whiteboard explainer template, which comes with over 400 characters. And I've already prepared a couple of the characters for what we're going to need in this story. Now I'm going to just select all of these characters and video animations, and I'm going to just drag it into my Premiere Pro timeline. We build everything on a white background. I prepared for you the white background and from there on, the first step is not animation. The first step is just to add the characters and the text at the approximate right time in the video. It's really easy to see the characters in, in, the, in the project panel. Now I'm going to select the Joe figure and I'm going to position him just a little bit to the left side. Joe is running his business right here and so on and so forth. So basically what you're gonna do is just add the animations to the timeline and uh, the audio track really is gonna help you a lot because you can see when a phrase starts and usually when a phrase starts, you wanna show an animation. When the fame phrase finishes, you cut a different scene, pretty simple. So I'm gonna populate this for you and I'll get back to you in a sec. Now, as you can see, I've added already the rest of the animation, the rest of the characters, the rest of the Hello, drawings. Joe. Joe runs his own business Let's take a look. local goods, but Joe has a big problem. He's got too much to do, and he can't find qualified help. Everywhere Joe has looked, he's only found unqualified employees. The next step is going to be adding the text. And after we have added the text, we're going to add also the animations. The quick, the easiest shortcut is, is to just hit the T key, T, and then you can type. T for typing. This is, this is Joe. Now, as you see, this, this font has already been selected. The color has already been selected in my case, but in, you might have a different color here. So all you got to do is change the color and the font to the one that you desire. So let me show you the font that I recommend for this type of animation, this whiteboard animation style. So select the text, I'm going to select the text again, go to the left side of the screen and you have here the text animation so twirl this down open this up and here you can select the color that you want to use now we can use it, it could be that it's on white when you start and then you can see the text that you're typing so make sure that you change this one to black okay now this is joe uh, the next thing that you want to change is the font which I like to use Comic Sans for this type of whiteboard explainer animation just because it looks like it would ha it would was written by hand and it's it's a font that is easily available in any computer you don't have to install anything else it's already on your machine. Okay. So the next part is differentiating a little bit the text. So I would like this is to be black and Joe to be red, just to give it a little bit of color. Now, as a principle in these type of animations, the less you do, the better, but you do want to have a little bit of contrast. Okay, so now we're going to change the color. I'm going to select the Joe word and I'm going to click here and select a red color. Let's make the Joe phrase a little bigger like this. Let's see the animation. This is Joe. Joe runs his own. Okay, and I don't want the this is Joe to be too long. 
it's easy because you can see here the narrative starts the second sentence so the first sentence should end before that and at this point we're going to play around with the position of joe a little bit because i want to add the text animation just below him okay so i'm going to click away on select stuff and i'm going to click the t key t key <laughs> to type text so i'm going to write a new text and let's say joe runs his own Com company okay now you see every you can see the all of the words so in this case all you got to do is click anywhere and then control a or just double click and it will select the entire phrase and now you want to make this of course smaller i mean not here <laughs> click open up the text parameter you see here the where the eyeball is open this one up and now we're gonna make the text smaller like this and i want this to be displayed in two separate places joe runs his own company like this okay this is already looking good but i don't want everything to be in red let's set it back to black you want to center align everything here in this particular case so i'm going to click on position and now I can move the text around like this. It should be the position, the transfer parameter for the text, not for the entire layer. The idea is this is how you continue. I'm going to just go ahead and add the rest of the text. Okay, now I filled in the text layers that are necessary. And I want to show you a couple of tricks, like the distance between these words are not optimal. So let me show you how I'm going to fix that. So. I'm going to select the word big and you have here something called something something <laughs> baseline shift. You have something called baseline shift and you want to move this baseline shift so that the distance for that particular word is optimal. And I'm going to go to the problem and uh, move also the problem a little up. Let's shift the baseline a little up, up, up like this. The next thing is that you want to use the same red everywhere. So when you add a color, you don't want to, as a principle, you don't want to add multiple types of red. If you use red, you use one color of red. Now, how to do that? Well, the easy way is, let's say we have chosen this red. And then when you make, make this... I'm going to just switch this back to black. Now, when you are here and you want to make, make the word red, then you select it and then click on the fill to change the color. And now you're faced with the challenge of, okay, what kind of red was it? Was it a brighter red, a pale red? What kind of red is it? So the simple solution for that is to just, while your text is still, still selected, so now my text is selected and I move my cursor here, my time indicator to a place where I already have used this red. And now I click on this fill effect. Keep in mind that this fill effect is still related to the big word, to the other word, right? And now I take my, uh, what's this called thing, <laughs> my uh, pen, Thing, what it is whatever and I just hover it over this red boom I took the color and I have this red so if we if we go back to the where is it where is the Joe Joe is got a big problem and now the big problem is solved because his red is consistent all the way and as another principle, you don't want to overstuff your animations with text because people really can't read a lot of stuff at the same time. So if you show them a lot of text, they won't be able to read it. That's why we are using here one phrase, uh, simple phrases, use simple phrases that are super easy to read and tell the story also using your characters. Good. Now, the next part that I want to show you is the animation we don't need to animate joe 
right at the beginning. Hello. What we want to animate here is actually just the text. Now you can see these, these represent the, the keyframes, the points where action is happening. The first keyframe, the position is going to be different because I, I will have the text outside of our frame. And let's see how this looks. This is Joe. Okay, it's too slow. Let's m put this keyframe closer. This is Joe. Oh, perfect. So now you're probably wondering, okay, now how can we add the hand animation <laughs> somewhere? Because it's a whiteboard explainer, hands should be moving around. Now let me show you an animation called dragger hand. And we're gonna place the dragger hand, not dragon hand, dragger hand. <laughs> we're gonna place it over our Joe figure. Okay, this is the, the spot where the hand is at the top. So I want to make the animation, the character, to be underneath the palm. So for that, I'm going to put down a keyframe so we know that this is the uh, final size that I want. And I'm also going to shrink the, shrink the animation so that it's just underneath the palm. We got to make sure that the little character is not appearing before the hand puts it there okay let's see how this looks Joe runs his own business, so. okay that's it's not bad but we gotta wait with the scaling part a little bit so that it scales later Joe runs his own business so. yeah I Joe think we got it Let's move it just a little bit like this. Joe. Joe runs his own business selling. You see? Oh, Boom. Joe. Joe runs his own business selling local goods. That looks excellent. Now all you got to do is also animate the Joe runs his own business text. And that's also very easy. We want the text to come from the, the bottom to the top. And I'm going to select Joe runs. And... Let's add a keyframe for position. Let's go down to position, put down a new one, move it to the the right. And this keyframe I'm gonna this position I'm going to alter. Joe runs his own business selling local goods. So we can see the second part. Now I'm gonna use the same animation that we used for the text with the position being I'm going to use the position here. I'm going to change it so that it comes from the left side. Jump in a little bit later. But Joe has a big problem. Very good. Now let me show you how to use a really cool animation where the hand will draw a friend. And all you got to do is use this drawer, one drawer hand here and you want to place this animation over whatever you want it to draw so to understand how this animation works all you got to do is click on the eyeball here so the eyeball hides the background and we want to place our hand drawer let's see so that it covers our drawing and what will happen is that the hand will come come up into the screen and will reveal our animation. Now let me show you how this will look. I'm going to turn back the whiteboard, the white background. Let's see how this looks. Okay. He's got too much to do and he can't find quality. And you see? He's got too much to do and he can't find And this is exactly how you can make the character you can how you could draw the character inside premiere pro easily we have here two other animations that we can play with and for that i'm going to show you something called the x animation <laughs> basically this is going to make a red x over those animations this hand and i'm going to just drag this again here and I'm going to move the position of the second one also. Oops. The second one. Like this. Let's see how this will look. We're going to move both of them a little bit to the front. 
too much to do and he can't find qualified help i have added for you a transition a very simple transition where we just fade to fade to white so whenever you need to make a transition and you don't want to spend the time to fade each layer separately you just put this layer over it this is a fade to white transition Problem. cool trick if you hold down alt and drag any layer it will duplicate that layer pretty cool oh, good. let's move this but joe has let's take a look goods. but joe has a big problem and as you see with a simple transition we can make our animations look good you don't need to overdo the hand movements you don't need to overdo the um, the text simple is better hello this is joe joe runs his own business selling local goods but joe has a big problem he's got too much to do and he can't find qualified help and there you have it so that's how you create an explainer video inside Premiere Pro. You can use the whiteboard explainer, which comes with over 400 different animated icons, animated characters. These are just a very few sketches that I had the time to show you. And you can make so many different explainer videos with this. And if you do make an explainer video, please share it with us, share it in the comments. I'd love to get your feedback on this. And remember, if you want to see more videos just like this, all you got to do is Click the like, click the subscribe button on this YouTube channel and just post a comment and let me so know that, okay, we want more explainer videos. Okay, we want more templates and so on. And that, with that being said, I'm going to thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.